Excel accounting practice problem, receive payment form. Get ready, because we're about to Excel with Excel. Here we are in our Excel worksheet. If you have access to the Excel worksheet, would like to follow along, two tabs down below, example practice, example tab in essence being an answer key. Let's take a look at it now. In prior presentations, we put this worksheet together from a blank sheet. Now we're going to be using it to analyze a transaction related to a receipt of a payment. Or in other words, we're imagining a situation where we had done work in the past issuing an invoice, increasing the accounts receivable, and now we're going to record the receipt of the payment from the customer. If we were to compare this to accounting software, we might input a form such as this, customer payment type of form, which would follow along after we have the invoice. The invoice would be the transaction that would be increasing the accounts receivable and then sales possibly then having inventory involved. However, we're not focused on the inventory at this point in time because we're really just focused on the accounts receivable, tracking the accounts receivable, now thinking about when we got payment on it, the customer then being referenced for the payment that we have then received, we would then be referencing and tying to the invoice in say accounting software, and this form then would create the journal entry of decreasing the accounts receivable, applying then the amount usually to either the checking account, going directly into the checking account, or we might have some kind of clearing account that it goes into first. And that clearing account is something that from an accounting standpoint, when you're learning just debits and credits, often isn't included. And that's an added step that you need to think about with an actual accounting software because uh, you need to think about the bank reconciliation process. So we'll talk about that a little bit more 